Welcome again to Catfish Farm Enterprise. So today we are dropping another episode of our educative series of videos for the Catfish Farm business. Now those new in the channel should hit on the subscribe button, turn on your notification and go to our channel you see various videos and guides on the Catfish Farm business for new farmers, for existing farmers and those that want to scale up their business. In their business. Now, today we are dropping another episode on types of pond used in the cartridge farm business. You know, in the cartridge farm business, the pond is here you have the fishes, and which is very important, as we stated in our earlier videos, on things to consider before embarking on the cartridge farm business. We look at pond as one of the major things that every farmer should consider before they embark on the cartridge farm business. Now, the amount of Fishes you want to rear will not determine the pond you want to make use of. So today we are looking at four types of pond in the cartridge farm business. Now the four types we are looking at today, the first one is the earth pond, the earthen pond. The second one on our list is the concrete pond. The third one is a plastic pond and the fourth is a trampoline pond. Now there are other various types of pond a lot of farmers will want to make use of. But these are the four common types. Exactly for the new farmers, you can it's easily you can easily get these four types of pond and make use of it. Now, and these four types of pond differs on the sizes and the capacity of fishes you want to rear and the space you have per time. Now, depending on where you want to establish your business from, so it determines the type of pond you want to make use of. Someone that wants to start maybe from this compound where there's no life space. That's the type of pond you can't use in that. First one on our list is the eating fish pond. This type of pond can also be called a natural pond. And in constructing this pond, it should be done in the place where there is enough clay soil and a flowing underground water. So not all environment is suitable for the earth pond. Now the best environment for the earth pond is a swampy environment. This is the best environment you can use in constructing an if earthen pond. Now in the construction of an earthen pond, it can be done manually. You can dig it manually or you can make use of an evacuator in digging. And also note that the pond should be the depth in digging should be around 1.5 meters with the water reaching about 1.2 meters in the earth pond now some soil should be used as boundaries around the earth pond so you make you use the, some soil some some people use maybe they add soil in bags and use it as boundaries around the pond now this will help during the rainy season to avoid flooding of the pond so you set the boundaries to avoid flooding of the earth pond now there are so many factors that should be put into cognizance before constructing the earth pond. Now you look at the availability of water. Also, you look, you consider if the soil is a wetland in and out of season, during the rainy season and during the dry season. Is this is the soil a wetland during these seasons? And another factor also you should consider is the type of the soil, the soil texture, and also the soil permeability. So all these factors should be considered before constructing the earth pond. Now the earth pond has a lot of advantages when compared to other types of pond. The first one is it is similar to the natural habitat, as we said earlier, because it's also called a natural habitat pond. So it's like the natural habitat for fishes. Also, the fishes do very well, they grow better in the earth pond when compared to other kinds of pond because the earth pond is just like the, the natural habitat of fishes so they grow faster, they grow better in the earth pond. Now, the cost of maintenance of the earth pond is well cheaper. Now, various kinds of fishes and various sizes can be real in the earth pond. Also, the natural, it has a natural capacity to control pollution because it, it has an easy water waste management system. 
and the cost of production is reduced so it helps you reduce your cost of production you don't spend more in diesel you don't spend more in powering your generator to pump water so the cost of production it lowers your cost of production now the disadvantages of the earthen pond include it is prone to flooding that's why boundaries should be set with soil it should be done properly to avoid flooding so it is prone to flooding and not all sizes of fishes especially the fries those are into hashing cannot be red there because you can easily monitor their growth in the earth pond so these are disadvantages of the earth pond now the concrete fish pond now this type of pond is very popular in the fish farming business today most farmers they make use of the concrete fish pond because it's suitable for all sizes of fishes from the hatchery stage which is the fries the fingerling the juvenile and even the brew stock can be read in the concrete pond now as the name implies this is made by concrete so it's built by concrete and it can be constructed in various sizes depending on the capacity of fishes you want to rain them so it can be done in various sizes and in construction of the concrete pond this is done by professional civil engineers so someone that is had a has knowledge in the construction of pond should engage in the construction of the pond to avoid disaster in your farm and also it comes with a flow through system so in construction of the pond they construct a flow through system to waste the water in the pond so it, shall, it can it should be done well so that the water can flow easily out and also you should have a pipe to that can introduce water into the pond now the disadvantage of the concrete pond now one is that if not done properly it can result to leakage of water and if the pond is left over time maybe you build the pond and you are, you are not making your use of it for some time always put water in the pond if not the pond after some times you start noticing cracking in the walls and you start leaking water in the pond and also regular maintenance should be done in the concrete pond so you from time to time you maintain the pond to avoid leakage of water from the pond so you do a routine maintenance on the pond so that the water will not leak and also you should before introducing your fishes into the concrete pond you should do what they call the pond preparation so that the chemical the cement used in constructing the pond will not be harmful to the fishes plastic tank fish pond as the name implies this type of pond involves making use of plastic tanks or rubber to ray the catfish now this thing, these tanks can be bought in the market from manufacturers and it comes in different sizes some persons make use of drones some make use of water tanks as they are plastic tank or rubber tank now the plastic tanks have a lot of advantages now it can raise fishes at almost everywhere it can be easily moved compared to uh, the earth pond or the concrete pond this pond can be moved from one place to the other maybe you are changing the location of your farm so it can be moved from one place to a new location now it can be used to raise fingerlings before transferring them to the main pond now they are safe and secured and they can be used to raise fishes indoors so you can use it indoors you can use it outdoors now it poses no threat there is no threat to the fishes so once it's well prepared it does not harm the fishes now and it is it's good for new farmers now those that want to that is starting up in the catfish farm business i recommend making use of the plastic tank for a start now it helps you monitor the growth of the fishes learn the art and the science of fish farming because it's easy for it's not that large so it's easy to uh, look at the fishes know when they are eating and know the their growth rate now at this point are cheap and less expensive to maintain now once is you have bought them you are not spending money on maintenance again so after buying them you just 
start making use of them you're not maintaining them so it's cheap and has less maintenance now the disadvantage of this pond that this, it has a limited size so it will limit the number of fish you can rep at time so if you're looking for a very large number so it's it has it has a limited number of fish it, it can grow per time that's for the plastic tank fish pond so we are looking at the tampolin pond now the tampolin pond can come in various sizes it can be constructed in various sizes depending on the length the height the farmer wants and the capacity of fish you train per time so the tampolin pond the walls of the tampolin pond are lined with rubber or leather carpet to prevent water from leaving the pond it helps to keep the water in the pond now this pond is excellent in raising your fingerlings also the juvenile and even the broodstock so it's an excellent pond for raising various kinds of fishes now in the cost in the uh, construction of the tampolin pond it is done with a flow through system whereby water can leave you can waste your water and also you can construct a flow in system to bring in water into the pond so it has a flow through system and a flow in system for water now advantages of this pond is easy to manage the tampolin pond is easy to manage you don't spend much in the management of the tampolin pond now it is environmental friendly it does not harm the fishes and also it reduces water waste so the tampolin pond because of the rubber lining on the wall it reduces your water waste and also it's easy to maintain the cost of maintenance for the tampolin pond is easy after the pond has been constructed or you you can buy it from various manufacturers that build the tampolin pond so it's easy to manage and it's easy to maintain so the tampolin pond is very suitable for farmers new farmers can make do of it and also it is movable now the tampolin pond the way it's constructed it can be moved from one location to the other that's one of the advantage of the tampolin pond if a new farmer i want to relocate or an existing farmer that want to relocate from one location to another it's movable it can be carried to a different location and it lasts long so these are some of the advantages of the tampolin pond